Look at that. This is from Kubi Knives. They sent this to me to do a review. So I did receive this for free to check out and do a video on, which is what I'm doing right now. Was not expecting this to come this quickly. The rep that I was speaking to uh, made it sound like it was coming from far away. And he said it would be a few weeks till it gets here. And lo and behold, a day later, here it is. This is the Made in China model. No, this is the KU319A. Um, I don't know if it has a name name. Nothing else in the box. Oh, except for this piece of paper here. Kubi and Edge Above the Rest. I've had a couple Kubi knives in the past, and they have been pretty decent. So this one is actually designed by Mikkel Willemson. And look at this. We've got another sealed baggy. I'm seeing these more and more. Knives coming in baggies, completely sealed with no way to open them except for cutting it. Kind of cool in terms of uh, verifying if the knife really is brand new or not. Here it is. Here is a knife designed by Mikkel Willemson, who Mikkel Willemson has been somebody that I've been a fan of for a very long time. If you look back on my channel, you will see a couple custom knives as well as some production collaborations between that maker and various other knife companies. Uh, first impressions, it is pretty nice. It's way lighter than what I was expecting. Let's get a weight really quick. I was expecting it to be super chunky and super heavy. They must have done a lot of skeletonization in here. Yep, they sure have. I'm guessing, let's do, uh, let's play a game of guess the weight. I'm gonna say 5.6 ounces. Oh, jeez. Okay, I was off by an ounce. Pretty heavy nonetheless. Let's compare it to a paramilitary two. I think it's about the same size. Yep, it's about the same size. So it's heavier, the same size as a paramilitary two. Uh, pretty thick blade stock here. What kind of steel are we running here? Aus 10. Haven't seen that on a Chinese made knife in a while. Here it is, designed by Mikkel Willemson. He does some really cool kind of out there designs. We've got bead blasted pocket clip. Nothing too fancy going there. Retention seems good. You can slide some material up under there nice and easily. Bead blasted blade finish, which once again, you don't see all that often nowadays. Nice drop point with a swedge on the top there. Kind of almost like a almost like a dagger point. Really cool. I, I like the look of it. There's the Kubi logo right there. I think this is running on bearings. Feels like it's running on bearings. Super smooth action. Nice and snappy. Flipper tab only. Nice little flipper tab, kind of angled down, so it's very comfortable to actuate this thing. Lockup is rock solid. Steel liner lock, nice and thick. G10 backspace with a little gear pattern here. I like this kind of gray blue color. I think it looks really nice. They gave me an option to pick which color I like the best, and I got to pick it out. And uh, this, by far, in my opinion, was the best looking colorway out of everything that they had. G10 is reasonably grippy, not too grippy. You've got the KB there for Kubi. These look like T8 body screws, which is really, really cool, as well as on this back pivot here. That's awesome. I love to see that. Uh, ergonomics feel good. This looks like a nice budget knife. I believe the retail on this is like 45 bucks, so that's not too bad for what you're getting here. So they're really going for that minimalistic look here, which I think is an excellent move, especially in the budget knife category uh, because there's a lot of limitations in budget knives in terms of how much machining you can do, the materials you can use. You're kind of stuck with usually a liner lock with some G10 scales, fairly simple blade. And so I like it when companies really lean into that minimalistic look because I think you get more bang for your buck in that price range uh, because it comes off as like a really clean utilitarian type look. You're not trying to punch up above your weight class and do some funky stuff because usually that's pretty obvious because you just don't have the budget to kind of pull it off. So when companies release budget knives and they keep them clean and simple, I think that is the best move that they can do. So check it out. Kubi Knives. Um, I believe this is the model number. I will do some research. The KU319A. I'll do some more research on this. Um, and if there is a more legitimate name for this particular knife, which I would hope that there is, I will post that in the description and or the title. All right, guys. Catch you later.